Is it better to plant a tree in a round hole or a square hole? It's time to put this myth to bed. This is something that I see people talking about on the internet all the time. The idea is that a square hole is going to promote roots being able to grow outward more rather than circling around in circles inside the round hole. Now the thought process behind this is because oftentimes in nursery pots like this where you have a round smooth sided nursery pot, these plants can sometimes start growing what are called circling roots, which as the plant gets older could turn into girdling roots, which is not good for trees to have. So the reasoning that people have is that if they plant a tree in a round hole, those roots could potentially hit the walls of the hole. And instead of growing outward and becoming nice, healthy, spreading root system, they're just gonna circle around inside that hole, similar to the way they do in a nursery pot. Now this is where the concept of the square hole comes in. People are saying that if you plant this tree in the middle here, when those roots start to grow out and they hit this wall, that whenever they start to travel to the side, they'll then hit a corner. Instead of swirling, they'll hit the corner and start growing out. So the magic happens in the corners. So if the magic for this concept happens in the corners of the shapes, why are people picking a square? A square only has four corners. This would be a terrible shape to pick if you're trying to maximize the amount of corners. In fact, the only shape that would be worse than a square would be a triangle. So this triangle would be a terrible shape to dig a hole in because we've only got three corners here. But that got me thinking, we could have more corners. Why don't we dig a hole in the shape of a star? You dig a star-shaped hole, plant the tree in the middle, now you've got five opportunities for these roots to go out in different directions. They're distributed evenly all throughout the subsurface of the soil. But why stop there? Now my mind is really racing. If five points on a star is good, then eight points has got to be better, right? Look at all of these corners and they're so aggressively pointed. This is gonna be great for those roots of the tree. But wait a minute, wait a minute. Eight points on a star, we're still not there yet. We're thinking in two dimensional shapes at this point when in reality, the hole, the roots, they grow in 3D. So we have to think of a shape that's not just two dimensional. What can we do in a 3D shape? Actually. This problem has already been solved. There's actually been a company that modeled this out to see what's the most surface area you can get from a 3D shape that's going to encourage more roots going in every direction on a 3D plane. That's actually the concept of how the air pot was invented. They wanted to find a pot design that would encourage roots going out in every direction and not swirling inside the pot. There's quite a few different companies that make these now, but they are encouraging that outward root growth. So what if we could take that same modeling, that same 3D design and make it into a hole? Let's try it. So we're gonna take this ordinary round hole and use my super cute pink auger and we're gonna make a similar design to that and get a whole bunch of corners into one hole. Let's go. Next layer. This is groundbreaking, literally. <laughs> this has gotta be it. But what do you even call this shape? I guess you would call it like a inverted corona or something like this. So next time someone says, hey, you should dig a square hole for that tree. Why don't you say, hey man, square is not the answer. You gotta put an inverted corona in the ground if you want maximum root growth out. Is this necessary though? Do you need to dig an inverted corona whenever you're planting a tree because it's got the most amount of corners per hole? Obviously not. There's a reason why landscapers don't dig their holes in an inverted corona shape or try to maximize the amount of corners or dig square holes, which would be a really lame shape. The reason why professional landscapers dig round holes well, to know that, we actually have to go back to that first original round hole and take a look at it. Okay, so we're back at the start at the round hole, but what I want you to see here is that it's not actually round, is it? If you look at it from far away, it is, but when you get up close, there's all kinds of crevices and corners and different shapes down inside this hole. It's very much different than this nursery container, which is perfectly smooth on the inside. 
You see, unless you use really wet clay and maybe dig the hole with an auger, you're not going to achieve a hole with super smooth sides. In fact, you shouldn't really focus on the sides of the hole that much at all. Your bigger focus should be on the roots of the tree that you purchase. Hopefully the tree that you purchase from a nursery does not have circling roots and a lot of good growers will not grow plants with circling roots. But if you do happen to have some roots that are going in a circular direction, you can just loosen them up or cut them a little bit and get this to go outward. So this is going to be a much better area for you to focus your efforts on would be loosening up this root ball if you happen to have any circling roots. And then make sure that you're not planting that tree too deep. Keep it at the established level that it already is. Make sure that you've got a visible root flare where the trunk meets the roots. You can see a little bit of that widening out at the base of the tree like we've talked about in previous tree planting videos. But hopefully, if you see those people online sharing publications telling you to dig a square hole, I even saw one from the Texas A&M Forestry Service that talked about digging a square hole. If you see them, let them know Hey, if you want corners, instead of doing a square, do that inverted corona, because that's going to be so much better.